That's right. Uh, so I couldn't tell you when I began to believe in God because it's all I've ever known. I was born into the faith like most of the youth. And I guess in that, I became kind of complacent in my walk. Um, I decided to join the praise and worship team, and I didn't realize how much of a significant impact that would have on my life. I guess because I was young, I thought it was going to be something I would do on the side, but it kind of like overtook my whole life, in a good way. Um, it was also like on the whim decision too, so I didn't really think about it, but yeah, and I guess the way I didn't think about it, I didn't really consider my walk with God even while I was singing up here, but I guess I could say I was saved when, during one time during youth, Pastor Anthony told the youth that he and the leaders were always willing to listen to us, and I made another quick decision on this. I decided that I wanted to talk to him. I realized very quickly I did not want to talk to him. Because <laughs> um, I, I had hidden something away for so long and so deep, like, in the darkness that suddenly telling it to someone, even to someone as close, I guess, as Pastor Anthony, it was hard and I thought that, I thought that he would hate me after, after I told him, ah, I thought that he would hate me after what I told him and I was fearing the worst and I thought he would say, There's, you, you can't get help, um, sorry. I thought that I wasn't, I was beyond help. But he and Atherea um, listened and started to guide me on, um, I guess, the walk. And I guess that's when I genuinely said that, when I genuinely said that I loved God, mm. not because it was something I knew from birth, but it was something that I believed because of an experience. I guess that was also my breaking point, but I realize now that it's such a minuscule breaking point to the, like, the turning points that all of you have had, I, I assume. So I'm waiting for the next breaking point that will really start me running on my walk instead of crying. Um, Sorry. <laughs> so... Um, I go to church now, and I hate to say it, but I go to church now because I feel like I have an obligation here, that I have a responsibility that I'm supposed to be here every Sunday. And I don't like that. I want to be here because he's here. I want to, I want to be here because it's, it makes me happy to be here. I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm never happy when I'm right. here. Right. But... I want to like I want to come to that place where I wake up every Sunday going I want to go to church because God is there. Yeah. And I'm not there, but that's okay because I'm still walking. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So like I guess I'm saying I have a, I have a long way to go, and what I hope that whatever you got from this testimony is that even if you're still whatever your walk is seems so slow. I hope that you're still going. Yeah. That you're not, that you haven't stopped, that you're still crawling, at least. I guess that's what I hope you got from my testimony. That's right. Thank you. All right. Thank you.